Hey y'all, Farmer Jesse here. Earl Butts, who was the Secretary of Agriculture of the United States in like uh, the 70s maybe, I don't really remember. I wasn't actually alive, so I guess that's not a surprise. He famously said, get big or get out. And that idea obviously perpetuated for a really long time. Farmers got really big, uh, started producing on thousands of acres, and right now we're really seeing the effects of that in that family farms are kind of falling apart and dying and being consumed by really large farms. Uh, and simultaneously, the you know, there are just almost no small to medium farms. It just needs a little revision. It just needs a little touch. My thinking is that what I've learned and what I've seen, we really have to start thinking about it more as not get big or get out, but get better or get out. So let's do it. One thing that really kind of struck me in Connor Crickmore's interview that I did with him last week for the podcast, which you totally listened to, was this idea that if 10% of your garden is a mess, is like a weedy mess, then you're growing 10% too much. Or if you're not doing three acres well, you're not gonna do five acres well. And this is such a simple concept, but it's so, but it makes a lot of sense and it's something we don't really think a lot about in terms of just generally in agriculture, how every everything you do and every little space that you do it, you can always improve upon that. And the more you improve upon it, the better your success as a farmer is gonna be. At least this is the theory, right? This is what I'm often thinking about when we're planning another year, like this upcoming year, we're actually shrinking our garden once again. So we've shrunk it two years in a row. And this upcoming year, we've shrunk it, shrunk it, shrunk it, shrunk it even more. So we've taken another plot out of production, eh, more like a half a plot out of production because we don't need it. We don't need that space. We don't, we've, we'd rather figure out how to better utilize the space that we have in production. And in so doing, we think that we can actually make more money by decreasing the space and doing what space that we have better, managing it better, uh, cultivating it better, growing more intensively, uh, and also just not leaving stuff out of production. Space is kind of a funny double-edged sword, right? If you have space, you have to take care of it. And also if you have space, you end up experimenting on it, which is fun. I like experimenting. I plan on experimenting a little bit because I can't help myself. But too much experimentation is bad. Too much experimentation is bad for your farm. Uh, it costs you time. Time is money, theoretically. So those are important things to consider. So I, I just like this idea of rethinking the paradigm of instead of getting bigger, instead of scaling up, we're scaling inward, we're scaling better. Going forward for Hannah and I, that's definitely the idea that inspires us the most. We don't wanna do more, we don't wanna go bigger, get our gardens large as can be. We just want them to be good, we just want them to be productive, every inch of it to be as productive as possible. So anyway, I just thought I would share that thought and See if I could get you guys to go over to notillgrowers.com and check that out. Check us out at notillgrowers on Instagram. This month we're dedicating the entire month to women in agriculture and on that point, I wanna say this farm would not be possible if it weren't for several women in my life. My wife, who is the backbone or also the legs and the feet and the arms. I guess sometimes maybe on the hands. I don't know, she does most of it. All of the things that keep this thing floating. So I wanna dedicate this month to Cher Smith, who's a huge inspiration for me, one of my mentors at Bug Tussle Farm, Robin Viersen, Corey Entwistle, all these women that have inspired me as w female farmers. Uh, you know, they've been a huge part of my life and they really turned me on to agriculture and, and, and taught me tons about how to run a farm and how to just manage a family on a farm. And also my lovely, lovely mother who passed away last year, uh, who always was encouraging for me to do this, was always uh, big into us eating good food and natural food and shopping at the organic store when that wasn't even really a thing and we thought we were really weird. That was my mom. Is it any surprise? Yeah, so shout out to my mom. Uh, much love to her. We miss her dearly. 
Um, just thought I would share some of those thoughts. Who are the women in your life that inspired you? Let us know in the comments. Also, like this video. If you like this video, go check us out on notillgrowers.com. Leave a comment, share it with your friends, all those good things. Say hi to Charlie. Hi, Charlie. Kitty kitty. She don't care. Other than that, you all, uh, I'm gonna go inside. It's actually getting dark at like six or whatever it is. But days are getting longer. They're getting longer. All right. We'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to join the Patreon page. I forgot to say that. I think that's it. I'm gonna go have a beer. It may be my second beer.